Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Aurora here with another episode of Jurassic. And today, our, uh, oh my gosh, look at these old ones. <laughs> um, today's topic is going to be, well, this was last week's. We did ferrets. They were so adorable. Got a lot of great response from those. But today we are drawing rowboats. So, <laughs> I have been wanting to do some more inanimate objects. We weren't going to stay on animals. We we're going to do some inanimate objects. And today, like I said, is rowboats. And rowboats aren't as difficult as people might think. They're actually quite simple. And if you use the figure eight um, way of doing it, it's a heck of a lot easier. Now you're probably going to figure eight. I'm like, yep, figure eight. So you would take a figure eight, you know, the eight, and you would lay it on its side, but make it very big, like so. And then at the front, right here at the top of that, you come down. And then the back here, you come down. And then you connect those two. And then this comes down. You can kind of already see the boat. I mean, it's it's almost ridiculously simple. <laughs> you cut that back off. And you can see how this is starting to already form a boat. Now the thing about this is that this line here, we take that line out. Because you don't need it anymore. And then you make the boards follow the sh shape of the ship, the little boat. And same for this side. Same amount of boards. And you have a rowboat. Oh, you erase this little tip back there. Now what I found to be very interesting is that they teach you this little trick in an art class, but I never learned this little trick in art class. I wish I had, because it would have made things so much easier for me. <laughs> but yeah, this is how they teach you in art school, apparently, is by using the figure eight. Now, if you wanted to see it flipped the other direction, you would just do it the other way. Like so. And of course, you would erase this little line here. And apparently, this works for like all types of boats. You can use it for tugboats and all sorts of things. Draw in 
and all the little boards. Like so. And your water. Yeah, you, know, you can always change things so you can make it fit correctly. Like so. Voila! Robots! <laughs> so I was like, um, what other kind of boats can you do? Oh, let's say you wanted to see it from the backside. That was another thing. I was like, okay, this is getting good. You do your flat figure eight, like so. And then, how did, how did they do it? Um, this came down, and then this. Let's see if I can remember how to do this now. That's right, this one was it. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. That's first, huh? Let's see. Now, the back end. This part here Yeah, you have to cut that portion off. And then you see the back of the boat. And you see the front of the boat. And that's how you do that. And let's see, they wanted to show, let's make sure I'm in frame here. <clears throat> I love this figure eight business. It just makes things so much easier. <laughs> I hope y'all can see this. Let's make this the front. You just have to make sure these all come down to the same point. That way it looks like the boat is in the water. Boards, we're doing. Make this. I don't know what the parts of a boat are called. But. Everybody knows what one looks like, so it. Makes it a little easier to to make sure you get all those bits and pieces. I and mean, if you want to use a reference photo, be like, okay, well here's my starting point. Then, by all means, I 
And then the one, the one person I saw, he took it and put a mast right here, right, like, right dead center. Because yes, I was looking at some reference videos as well. And let's see. I couldn't help myself because I was very curious to see how other people went about it. And I found so many very interesting videos. Um, and I found also that most of them came out of Europe. The uh, tutorials on how to draw rowboats. So I was... <laughs> I was like, how come they don't teach this here? This figure eight business. It would have been, make things so much easier because I'd never heard of it before until I started looking into it. It was funny, I came up with this, this prompt and I had, I, I didn't really think about it. I wasn't like, let's draw rowboats and we're going to draw them as figure eights. <laughs> no, I did not put that kind of thought into it. So, yeah, let's see, nope, let's go this way, one of the people were like, don't forget that a reflection is not perfect, Whereas a shadow is denser. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I had never heard that before. So a shadow would be a lot less or the shadow would be a lot more, I'm sorry, a lot more defined, whereas the reflection is not. So that's, why does that not look right? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's right. My goodness. <sighs> if you have to turn your book upside down, go for it. But this is just a... A little... One of those, uh... Type of little tricks. Drawing hacks. Whatever you want to call it. So, if we wanted to, we'll see, that's just like a little sailboat, um, say, let's draw us another one, just one more time, and then we'll finish up. And let's see, I'll draw from this direction again.
mean, this is, you know, once you've got the basic idea down of their shapes, I don't think you'll have to draw the figure eight again. It's just that kind of gives you the starting point. Because uh, I, I, I would think that after a while you wouldn't have to. You would just be like, oh, well, that's how a rowboat's shaped. Okay, we got this. But it's a really good like little starting point. Now, if you wanted to, I would think you could probably take all that out. Possibly draw. Like a steamship. Because this gives you the whole idea of how the bow is shaped. Bow? I'm not sure. I'm not sure when it comes to all that. Or maybe the Titanic, you know. <laughs> you know, it's like the USS Disaster. <laughs> so there we go. It's just a put like a little railing and everything around this. I mean, you can just go crazy with this, I would think. I mean, you could do all sorts of things. And then you wanted to draw, like, the little lifeboats. There you go. <laughs> so, the sky's the limit, folks. You can do whatever you want to with it. And it just starts out with a simple little figure eight. And then you can just go crazy with it. So I hope you all had fun with this. Please make sure you show us what you're drawing if you're drawing along. We would really love to have you. Me and Lori of the Lori Files. She is the uh, sister channel to this, draw some, and uh, yeah, make sure you show us on Facebook, um, not Facebook, we don't use Facebook, <laughs> make sure you show us on Instagram what you've drawn, if you've drawn along with us, and just like these folks did, and uh, we will feature you in next week's draw some video. 
So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It's free. Not everything in life is free, but that is. And to make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single episode of Drawsome. And go check out Lori's video too on how to draw a rowboat. So until next week, sure do love you bunches. Bye.